So here at the ID Tech X conference, so who are you? Hi, my name is Franco Gonzalez. Um, I'm a technology analyst at ID Tech X. So what do you do? Um, well, I conduct research on the development of um, uh, technologies in two specific areas, uh, energy storage technologies such as supercapacitors, which has been one of my main areas of research, and the second one is electric vehicles. Um, these two areas are related uh, within themselves, of course, because well, energy storage is one of the key components and enabling technologies of electric vehicles. So, a supercapacitor, what is that? A supercapacitor is an energy storage device um, that, uh, in comparison with batteries, they have a higher power density. Um, but uh, less energy density. That means that in a certain uh, pack of supercapacitors in the same size of a pack of batteries, you will have more power but less amount of energy. Does that mean supercapacitor could uh, fly airplanes? Well, uh, not entirely, because uh, a supercapacitor on its own um, couldn't uh, store the required amount of energy to well, Maybe just, a, maybe just a little distance. But the thing is that they could provide the initial power to uh, start the operation of, uh, of, of the, any electric aircraft, as they do in, in electric vehicles, in which they provide the uh, higher power from cranking the engines. But a supercapacitor is a battery, right? It's not exactly a battery, because batteries work uh, based on uh, chemical reactions. A supercapacitor works based on uh, electrostatic fields stored in um, surface areas. So electrostatic fields towards surface areas. Which surface? Where? Uh, a supercapacitor is composed, you can think about the supercapacitor basically as two surface parallel uh, plaques of a conductor that store, store a, a, an electrostatic field between them. And when you add a solvent with electrolytes uh, between those two areas, you will have the formation of a double layer based on the charges are in the surface of the conducting uh, material surfaces and the ions that uh, alienate themselves in uh, the surface of those two areas. These two areas are the electrodes. And these electrodes are composed of uh, porous materials. So if you increase the porosity of those uh, electrodes, you will increase those areas at a micro level. And by increasing at micro level, you will increase uh, the, well, the amount of energy that you can store in different electrostatic fields. So is there any uh, supercapacitor in a Tesla? Well, uh, not yet, but um, Elon Musk said, uh, I'm quoting him, that he said that if there's an exciting technology that will do a breakthrough, that will be supercapacitors. So is, wouldn't it be awesome if you could charge a, a car in like two minutes? Is yeah. that possible in the yeah. future or what? Indeed, or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a very good uh, uh, proposal and I think that... Uh, Fast charging technologies such as supercapacitors are definitely one enabling technology to do that. But is there any chance to do anything like that? Because it's a, a, a huge amount of power you need to get through. It's dangerous, no? Things can explode or what? Well, of course, it depends on... on um, uh, well, you need the infrastructure, of course. Uh, but I think that the, the thing about supercapacitors is that because they have a so low resistance, electrical resistance, they don't uh, um, heat, uh, increase their temperature, and they can manage high power without uh, heating. Um, so it's not dangerous? There's no supercapacitor stuff that explodes anywhere in the world? Well, uh, there, of course, there are some materials that are uh, used uh, in, in supercapacitors as they are in batteries. Solvents are organic solvents that can well, uh, evaporate and uh, uh, some of them, uh, under certain conditions, um, uh, can be toxic, uh, of course. Uh, uh, but uh, that's one area that well, uh, both batteries and, and supercapacitors are looking to replace those uh, um, solvents for aqueous versions, which so are pretty much safe. Is there like a capacitor and a supercapacitor? Yeah. What's the, the difference? Is the amount of, well, uh, there's the amount of, of, the, of the energy that is stored in the device is related with this one measure 
called capacitance. Uh, capacitance is uh, uh, the charge that you can store between uh, uh, two uh, uh, parallel areas in an electrostatic field. So capacitors are in the range of, of uh, um, for example, microfarads, uh, whereas supercapacitors are in the range of farads and thousands of farads. So that means if you put inside a server some capacitors in there, it's not the supercapacitor probably, but the supercapacitor is only in the car or something bigger? Well, they, they are uh, some supercapacitors that are meant to be used in, in consumer electronics, uh, which are the smaller ones, and, the, um, and there are others which are in the, meant to be used in, in uh, electrical machines such as electric cars. So they could be used inside the smartphone to keep power when you switch the battery? What they actually would do in, in a smartphone, as you know, uh, smartphone technologies are becoming multifunctional, and that means that you use different functions that demand different power in uh, the device. So what it does is that you have a, a variation of power demand in time that uh, will drain the energy of, of a battery. So rather than having so much spikes that the battery has to cope with them and in therefore decreasing their uh, capacity of energy stored, um, you can uh, shave those peaks with uh, coupling a supercapacitor that will take out all that uh, high power job from the battery, allowing the battery to work with a constant energy demand. That in turn will increase the lifetime of the battery. So you had a session just before, a master class. Yeah. And uh, why did it last so long time? What was going on there? Well, I think there's a lot of material and exciting developments in the area. And I, well, I just tried to fit as much as I could. Uh, so I think that the master class uh, went pretty well because there was a lot of discussion and, uh, well, uh, an analysis and comments from the different topics that we cover. I think that's I think that's why the, the master class extended so long. It extended so long when people came out, there was no more lunch. <laughs> no, that's yeah. not true. Okay. <laughs> it was, but uh, yeah, well, there was some lunch. I still managed to have some a sandwich. So this too. means definitely that there will be a lot of things happening in the future with supercapacitors. Yeah, indeed, that's correct. Um, Supercapacitors, uh, well, are already being deployed in electric vehicles. Um, it, they will get into consumer electronics and will be able to extend the lifetime of a battery. They will be able to do uh, fast charging of a mobile phone uh, in a matter of, of minutes. Uh, and that's something that everyone will love. They will love. replace the battery. Well, they will uh, assist the battery, assist I would the battery. say, in, in having a better, a better performance and have a better performance in the whole uh, uh, consumer device itself. So, why is it uh, something that's emerging right now? Is it something that was invented recently or is it a long time ago and it's no, only now um, that you can really use it? Capacitors date back from, well, friends, the same time as Alejandro, Alessandro Volta uh, developed the pile battery and uh, there were some indents and uh, well, um, findings of recent developments of, of supercapacitors in Holland at the same time they called them the Leiden jars. So that's a long time ago, yeah, a long but time ago. why are we talking about it right now so much? The thing is that uh, with the development of, of uh, nanomaterials um, uh, the technology has uh, received more attention because you can uh, produce uh, more uh, detail and, and uh, specific structures in mat electrode materials and in turn are very, very useful to uh, produce these uh, small poros that I mentioned that will increase the capacitance of the device. So based on the recent developments of uh, new technologies and new materials, including carbon nanotubes, graphene, uh, it has brought a lot of attention to the possibility of, of uh, supercapacitor technology. So this is nanotechnology? This is nanotechnology in action. So thanks to that, something is happening right now? Yes, exactly. All right, so